Welcome everybody to Cloud Innovators Live for Telecommunications. I have with me today Vivek Gupta and Mikhail from Optiva. Mikhail, could you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Michele Campriani and uh, I joined uh, Optiva uh, in June, so not long ago, but I've been uh, engaging with them for, for, for quite a while as an advisor. And I've been 30 years in the industry, in different companies, OSS and BSS, always around telco software, of course, yeah. Beautiful, and Vivek, what about yourself? Could you introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, Vivek Gupta, I lead uh, partnerships for cloud telco, and I have had a chance to meet some really innovative and interesting partners that has been a really interesting part of my professional journey here. That's beautiful, so Mikkel, hey, 30 years in the industry, that's quite a bit, right? Yeah, you So can say congratulations that. for that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but you have some exciting news. What are you launching today on, on Google Cloud? Yeah, we are launching, uh, well, together with Google, of course, uh, Optiva MVNO Hub. This is a, a new solution that, uh, it's an evolution of what we're doing for a while, which is a BSS as a service. Now we're targeting MVNO specifically. So the MVNO hub is going to be an integration, of course, of Google assets, uh, Google Cloud capabilities, our own uh, BSS stack, the Optiva solutions, and some ecosystem partners. So MVNO, when they can adopt uh, this kind of solution, they can launch their services in no time. So it's uh, accelerating their go-to-market and, uh, and agility to launch new services. Well, and when you're in this business and you're in the MBNO side, you have to have a little bit of an advantage and speed is one of those, so that's pretty critical. Uh, absolutely, and uh, what you don't want to do as an MBNO is to focus on technology. You're all about customers, you know, how quickly can I launch new services, can I change the, my plans so I can adapt to the market, and, you need to be very much agile, and time is of essence. So we're enabling those kind of capabilities for them. Well, this is beautiful, and Vivek, maybe I'll turn to you, and we'll talk a little bit about the partnership, because these kind of partnerships and that kind of speed don't happen overnight. Could you tell us a little bit more about Google Cloud and Optiva and how we're partnering together? I think, uh, look, Optiva has been a long-standing partner of us, and we've been working together to deliver BSS as a service to our customers. and. You know, in my role, as I was mentioning, I get to deal with a lot of partners, and we have this mega trend around also the fact that many of them are using analytics on BSS data. And so it was a really natural you know, evolution for our partnership to now actually combine all of that together. So in this solution that we're launching, uh, besides the direction towards MVNO, we are also doing analytics and AI capabilities on top of the BSS service, so that adds another you know, combined in a unique flavor to this partnership that we are very excited about. Well, being able to have that AI analysis and the data combined, I mean, that becomes very critical for our customers. So, Mikhail, what what are, value are we adding to those customers from that perspective? Well, from, from that perspective, again, uh, MVNOs need to quickly understand uh, what kind of adoption they have, uh, what kind of services are really successful, what is the market movements, and they need to change things very quickly. With uh, AI, they can really understand and analyze uh, the success of their uh, services when they're launching them and, and continue to evolve. And again, uh, the combination of our uh, capabilities allows them to be quick to market. So understand uh, the changes, understand which customers are really uh, important for them, and then target them with specific plans and pricing and all of that. And that, the combination of the, the AI capabilities of Google and, and the overall infrastructure capability, which allows to do a true SaaS and, uh, and scale, uh, is really a great combination. And so it's we're working. I mean, with Google, we've been doing uh, this, as, a, as we were saying for a while, on, on a BSS of a service, uh, as a service capability. But targeting MVNOs and their stringent requirements and speed and agility, uh, you know, we, we think we can serve them uh, very well. So we're helping to change business models. And if you think of that, whose business models and what customers are we starting to work with? I'll, I'll pose that to both of you. Vivek? You know, we have some, some exciting customers together that we can talk about, right? So TELUS is part, now part of this. And you'll see the mix of customers, our traditional ones and, and the new age ones, because many of our traditional customers are also looking at creating a separate digital digital brand or a MBNO service yes. that competes with, you know, so-called the new age of telecom. And I feel that, you know, while we're today it's targeted towards MBNO, that is probably 
you know, one of the key components of how telecom features are going to look like. So that's definitely, you know, uh, part of the story here. And there were some other customers you had. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Telus is definitely one of them. We have Truefone, we have Kojiko, we have several. And uh, the pipeline is already uh, quite big. Now adding this uh, new service uh, uh, and, and go-to-market is specifically in the MVNO. I'm, I'm pretty sure, and we actually have already and we'll probably announce uh, in a month or so a couple of new customers, uh, a couple of new MVNOs, and uh, you know we'll tell you about it. But so the adoption is already there, even if we're just launching uh, the the solution. Uh, it, it creates uh, quite a lot of excitement already in the well, market. I tell you what, we're excited about the partnership and the direction it's going, and really appreciate all the work that you guys have done and uh, look forward to serving more customers in the future and having you come back. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm very optimistic. Uh, I think, again, uh, the early adoption that I've seen, the kind of pipeline and the interest in the market is incredible. And, and you, you know, this um, solutions and BSS in general always been uh, characterized as, as being uh, slow. It takes forever to deploy and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it has a bad reputation. I think with the, uh, the combination of Optiva <laughs> capabilities and Google, uh, we are changing the market in that sense, right? We're enabling this, the MVNOs to uh, be onboarded yeah. uh, with the, in this hub in a couple of months and launch, which is unheard of in the BSS market, if you will. Wait, wait, you got to pause for a second because that's kind of interesting. You said a couple of months. Oh yeah. Vivek, oh, yeah. What, what, why would we do something in a couple of months? That, it seems like this is tremendous. Yeah, it is, and that's one of the things that you know, you the the the, the whole tool infrastructure that Google partners with them provide. We can, you know, BSS systems generate a lot of data. They are they have a lot of legacy kind of components in there, and as such, this way of kind of doing business is very different. And we think that that you know, CSPs will bring a lot of benefit when they are much more active. Uh, as as we heard that you know, they are actually track the performance of what they're doing in a very real-time way and are able to adjust that. That's not a typical way of how, how CSPs have done business previously. So this really enables that new paradigm of, of iterative testing and, and actually trying your new, new uh, campaigns and uh, yes. products with your customers. So that's well, really, really powerful in there. I think that's really important, being able to try new things and fail fast and exactly. finally bringing this into the BSS space and doing it together is, is really something special. So, Mikhail, Vivek, thank you so much for joining. And that's it for now at Cloud Innovators Live for Telecommunications.